if you are a nigerian creative and at some point you have not felt the need to quit being creative a thousand and a thousand times how does it feel to be god's favorite because i'm at that point <laughs> and if you are a returning subscriber you know i love you already so yes going straight to today's video um is basically what well, basically here to just <laughs> talk about life and what i have been up to what have i been doing why did i run away so hope my point this time around is going to convince you not to convince you that life is hard so yeah um, why did I run away? First question. I finished uni early this year around June and after that I have just been doing clearance, trying to clear my way out of school and people in federal universities, I don't know how it works for private universities, but people in federal universities know how it feels because they are going to stress you, they are going to take your time, they are going to take your money it's a lot it's a whole lot so if you pass that stage i mean kudos to you so yes i did that and i had to do that so i had to do that early because i had to go with the next batch that was going for nyc for non-nigerians on this space nyc is basically a nigerian initiative for youth it's known as national youth service corps where we get to just leave your state of origin or your state of residence to another part of Nigeria for um, the sole purpose of national integration. I mean, who national integration help? Because the situation of the country is a lot. I don't want to speak much about it. So, traveling from probably, for example, the south to the north, except you have money for flights. Is quite hard so except for the brave of hearts that can actually voluntarily leave so most of people maneuver it um, you know like i did i had to stay here back in lagos nigeria to do my nyc and for camp i was posted to due to some reasons i was posted to edit camp in ocean states to do my orientation camp which lasted for three weeks um that three weeks deserves its own personal sit-down video because we saw a lot of things so let me know in the comment section if you would like to see hear about my camp experience and you know how NYS is great for me so far so let me know in the comments and I'll do a specific video <laughs> giving you details and maybe be some video evidence so yeah I went for a completed I came so an comp card and I completed my three weeks orientation camp which was August which was in August and then I came back first week in September and I had to you know it never stops the Shege never stops the Shege Pro Max so <laughs> went ahead to start resume at my place of primary assignments that one is another stress on its own you Sometimes you have to negotiate because I was posted on to the mainland in Lagos State, but it's, it's quite a distance from my place of residence. So I had to um, I had to go through the stress of waking up early in the morning to my workplace. Then let's not even talk about <laughs> commuting in Lagos. It's the whole stress traffic. And all of that so that's that's a story for another day we're gonna sleep here so there's that part of life i then having to some place of primary assignments will just stress you because they will not want to pay you but then the stress the, the stress life out of you then what else then just life generally having to look for jobs because i mean 
I want to advance in my career, I want a better pay, you know, to fund this soft girl life, you have to make money, so, yeah, I started looking for jobs when I left school, job hunting is not for the week, <laughs> I had to start hunting for jobs, rejection bills, and, you know, there should be a special <laughs> orientation for how to handle rejection bills, but, you know, God's time is best, and God has a better plan for me so yes there's that phase of job hunting then lucky you think when you're in the university you're an adult <laughs> because that's what they will tell you because I mean there's the freedom yeah you can wake up and decide not to go to class not all schools shall but you can decide not to go to class there's nobody to tell you oh this is your curfew you should be home by seven you should be home by six nobody to hold you down and you'll be feeling like oh feel on top of the world that i'm an adult i'm an adult but hmm. life after uni is the real adulthood <laughs> let me tell you life after uni is the real adulthood so now i'm seeing what it means to be an adult because i mean coming to lagos i thought to look for a place that is at least central to commute properly so we started looking for houses and the price of houses in little Lagos <laughs> God help us the prices of houses in little Lagos is outrageous there's no even size for your pockets because everything is expensive <laughs> to live in like the good comfortable comfortable places you have to you have to pay a lot of money it now depends on the type of place you're looking at are you looking for a cell phone are you looking for a flat then some places some places you will see it's not even it's not what's the hype so it's just a lot i mean then let's not even talk about living expenses like there's a tweet i saw one time that they said a rich man turned to become an adult everything's called the expensive like everything is expensive talking about fuel talking about the price of transport i mean you put they are doing uber in this economy come 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 close come close no oh, now they see this money like show show me the way please <laughs> i can cook i can clean i can i can't do anything except spiritual but please you maybe should show us how you are doing it in this economy because everything is just expensive talking about buying food stores provisions just the most basic thing is expensive it's just well, basically living by god's grace i mean inflation is the inflation is terrible everything as the price of oil went up like this the price of every other thing went up so god knows <laughs> if it will ever come down so we just have to like you know upgrade to meet up to the standards of living because it's a relationships in your adulthood you realize how lonely you are like you feel like you don't have most of your friends in uni for some reason or the other you people separate some people might travel out of the country for masters some might get married then you're all alone in this cold world <laughs> So like let's talk about friendships, making making new friends in in your adult life. Let's not even go there because it's not easy and it's easier to it's not easy and it's easier at the same time because I mean you get to meet friends at different places, you get to meet friends in the church community, you get to meet friends at work, so we're well, like to keep keeping friends is not like the way you kept friends in the uni. Like I mean some people probably had 10 friends 15 friends in uni but by the time you real life hits you you never remember that you had one friend somewhere except the ones that you've been studying together in pick up in through god's grace so i mean there's that part of life that there's actual relationship um i choose not to speak about that because that is another space on its own <laughs> so let's leave that space then plants then there's that i mean like adulthood is a it's a different topic on its own like it's a difference it should be like a course like tell let's let's know what's happening what am i what should i expect as an adult so 
um, there's really no manual stage actually. It's just you. There's no manual to being an adult. It's just you figuring out life, owning up to your, you know, owning up to your things, um, being more responsible. Because I mean, this part of my life has taught me to be more responsible. Because I mean, I'm no more in the university. <laughs> I can't be collecting money from my parents the way I used to collect when I was in uni. I mean, my father, my father has just he had business lifestyle to hands off, like you know, you're an adult, you're becoming an adult. The latest thing I'm just living under my roof, so yeah, just you're, you're on your own basically, you're on your own. Yeah, so plans for the rest of the year. I mean, God proposes, man disposes. I can't really say I might have my own plans but God will just tell me no I have a bigger plan for you because I mean if you watched my previous life update video I remember a particular point I stated that I wanted to travel this year this is more like a testimony so I wanted to travel I had it in mind early this early this year I just put it in my goals that at least even if it's been a republic at our backyard here I must go for a vacation or something just go there just go there and you know relax chill and you know just enjoy the moments of that vacation but god was like you know have a bigger stepping stone for you that one is small but i have something bigger for you and i left the country and i traveled to germany through an opportunity so like i said you may have your own plans stated out and God has something bigger for you. So obviously, yes, I have plans for the rest of the year, but I'm just moving through God's grace and you know, let Jesus take the wheel. But like for um, what I have in store for the end of the year, it's just basically um, me reviewing, reviewing my creative part. Uh, my life as a creative so what do i want to do better because i really neglected my social media and my i've really neglected everything that has to do with socials for a bit and then just me doing like a review catching up what do i need to do better um scheduling my times and creating more content because my excuse before was that i was in school and school could not let me create as much as i wanted but now that's like i have not necessarily the luxury of time i can at this time i can say okay i want to do this now and i want to just have more power in my hands to like assign things for myself so now it's just more like okay you don't have an excuse it's just just execute enough of planning 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 schedule time and execute so yeah more of executing and less planning for me um at this season and you know upgrade myself in my career path learn more upgrade my skills learn more and you know um just advancement basically i think that's the word for this season advancement and you know looking forward to what um because i mean we have less than where is 2023 running to we have less than we have october november december we have less than three months to go before the year runs out so just to make the most of 2023 have fun while at it and you know just as usual live a soft girl baby girl life <laughs> in the midst of chaos i choose to be a soft skill but yes that's 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 just it for me basically and just being hopeful prayerful um dedicate more time to god and you know spend more time communicating with him and yeah just doing that uh, to create more content here on youtube and every other space so watch out i'm coming i'm coming I'm, I, I have plans i have plans i'm coming so that's basically it for today um 
thank you for watching this video to this point and thank you for listening to me rant if you want to hear more rants kindly subscribe to this channel hit the subscribe button if you're watching this video and you have not subscribed i will not stay anything but please subscribe to my channel turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever i post a new video i mean why would you want to see this face again so just you know click that bell if you like this video also share 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 spread the word i mean that's how recommend that's how youtube recommends my video and puts me out there big bang bang so <laughs> thank you guys once again and i'll see you guys in my next video bye